Hi guys, in this video we are going to be learning about sockets. Before we get into the informal definition of what socket actually means, let's go to the official definition of a socket. So according to the books and let's say Google and official websites, a socket is one endpoint of a two-way communication link between two programs running on the network. A socket is bound to a port number so that the TCP layer can identify the application that data is destined to be sent to. An endpoint is a combination of an IP address and a port number. So what it is actually trying to say that sockets are required for one computer to communicate with another computer. So basically sockets opens up a layer of communication from one device to another by bounding or binding the port and the IP address together. So you can understand this like this. So you have one computer, let's say it is your computer and then you have a friend's computer. To communicate between both of them, you have to create a socket and that socket has been bound to or has to be bind to an IP address and a port number. And then the socket is able to communicate or send information to your friend's computer and vice versa. That is, it is able to receive the communication or a message from the other computer too. Now these are some of the socket commands in Python. If you are not using Python or if you are using some other kind of language, these kind of commands also exist in another language, maybe in some other syntax, but the idea behind these commands is same. So the first thing we need to do if we want to communicate, if we want to communicate or we want to send a message from one computer to another is create a socket. So socket.socket .socket actually creates a socket. That's it. The next thing we need to do is bind the IP address and the port to the socket which the second command does. It says socket.bind host and port. IP address is also known as the host. So it's binding the port and the host to the socket and then it sends a message to another computer using dot send function. Then the other computer which is receiving the message is listening continuously listening whether the other computer is sending a message or not which it does using the socket dot listen command. Then when it finally receives the message it uses the s dot receive function to actually decode the message into its system. Then after all these functions are done, it closes the socket by using the s.close function. So these are some of the basic commands that we are going to be working on in future. So guys, this is pretty much it for this video. In the next video, we are going to learn about direct connection. That is how IP addresses and ports and sockets are combined together for a communication link between one computer and another computer. So I'll see you over there.